Thank you so much. You may now take founder, chairman, governing council of the school. So, um, the founder, chairman, governing council staff, principal officers and management staff of the university, our professors, doctors, and deans, chairs of schools, public education, and enrollment program for my own 2022 2023 set. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning we have students from School of Health Sciences and School of Nursing.
students or health sciences, that is physiotherapy and nursing, are presented here for your contribution, for your meetings.
de l'Association internationale des universités, membre de l'Association des, Association des universités africaines, membre de l'Association des universités privées africaines, membre de l'Association de l'international management, membre de l'Université Assurance Européenne. Après vos études, pour que vous soyez des bons ambassadeurs de cette université, des bons ambassadeurs, je souhaiterais, je souhaiterais pouvoir dans les organismes internationaux comme l'ONU, la CDAO, l'Union africaine, etc. Parce que je suis sûr que vous allez recevoir ce qu'on appelle éducation sans frontières. À l'université américaine de Mabacha, nous donnons ce qu'on appelle éducation sans frontières. Éducation sans frontières veut dire une éducation de qualité, une éducation que vous pouvez compétir sur le plan international. Donc, soyez les bienvenus à l'université américaine, Madame Abacha du Nigeria. Je ne veux pas prendre beaucoup de votre temps, je vais de traduire ma conversation en langue britannique pour pouvoir vous aider à accompagner le message sur le plan d'excellence. Merci beaucoup et je traduis quelques mots que je vais soumettre à la Britannique. Our respected mother, Professor Fatima Gaji Tantata, the President, Madame Abacha, American University of Nigeria, Professor Mohamed De Issa, member of scientific research of Mariam Abacha, American University of Nigeria, Niger, Dr. Tango Ishwaibu, Vice President Administrative Administration of Mariam Abacha, American University of Niger, Director of Academy Standard and Quality Assurance, Dr. Nura Alekiaro, Dean Campus Life, Dr. Hamza Garba, Director Institute of Africa Research and Innovation, Professor Abubakar Sadiq, Vice President Administration, Nigeria, Dr. Abibu Awesu, Director Linkages and Collaboration of Marima Abacha American University of Niger, Dr. Bala Mohamed Choukour, Vice President Administration, uh, Dr. Dr. Kayode, Acting Dean of School of uh, Social Science, School of uh, Health Science, sorry, Professor Zafar, Dr. Abdullah Igarwa, Engineer Dr. Bashir Igarwa, Professor Ibrahim Dawal, Dr. Kadru Yakasri, Dr. Mahmoud, Dr. Abdurashi, Dr. Umaru, Dr. Mariam Jouri, Dr. Samira Hassan, Dr. Amir Fanda, Dr. Moutala Hamla, Dr. Moutala Moussa Rikasa, Dr. Dawal Kankia, M. Sagani Sunusi, Dr. Abdoulaye Soufi, Dr. Inusa Gadarawa. Let me use Islamic way to welcome you. Salam alaikum. Mariam Abacha American University was established in Niger around 2008 by a young man of 28 years old. That's Mr. Adamu Abubakar Gwanzo, who is for 
originated from Savala in Kara, Bojuru Kagama of Kano Space. Dear students, dear students, dear students, felicitations, congratulations, congratulations. Bari Mahapacha American University is accredited by accreditation services for international university and colleges in the United Kingdom, UK. Mariam Abacha American University is a member of Association of International University and affiliate of UNESCO in Paris. Mariam Abacha American University is a member of European Quality Assurance. Mariam Abacha American University is a member of American Education Council, United States of America. Mariam Abacha American University is a member of Association of Private University of Africa. Member of Association of Private University of Africa. Member Association of International Management Association. Member of African Quality Assurance of Education. Recognized by United Nations. Recognized by European Union. Recognized by the United States of America. <laughs> Dear students, your certificate is a certificate without border. We call it certificate without border. Certificate without border, it means you are not only recognized in Nigeria. You are not only recognized by the Nigeria University Commission. You are recognized by all one body of education. <laughs> when you are attending a university, you should attend a university that have internationalization. Internationalization means when you are done with your education in Nigeria. If you are to work in the United Nations, in African Union, etc., so your certificate should be a recognized university by United Nations Education Impact. And Maun is a member of United Education Education Impact. Dear students, most of the nursing students, Maun in Niger is among the best university in nursing science all over the world. Nurses, 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 I am a nurse. Let me be proud of you, let me be proud of nurses. Today, we made international name because of nursing. If you go to US, Maun is the certificate of Maun is the most employed certificate in all over Africa. As last year, we recorded, we, we recorded uh, most, uh, almost 185 students of Malawi are working in the USA. Actually now, I'm standing at MOU with one American firm that any of you, either physiotherapy, nursing, medical lab, MBBS, pharmacy, etc., that finish from our room is going to be employed in the United States of America. <laughs> our room is not just a university, it's a career university. It's a career university. It is a career university. So dear students, you should thank your parents for giving you this great opportunity to study in Maria Mabacha American University of Nigeria. Maria Mabacha American University of Nigeria, of Nigeria 
is the most recognized university in sub-Saharan Africa. The most recognized, not just the most recognized university in sub-Saharan Africa. And we have to thank Maradi. Maradi really do well. Maradi, Maradi, Maradi. Our headquarters, Maradi, Maradi. Maradi, Maradi, the headquarters of the knowledge of Africa. As you are seeing, some of your staff, they were also our students in Niger. We have a lot of them like Dr. Verba, uh, Dr. Mahmoud. We have a lot of them here. They are all, they, they were also your alumni in Niger. Some of them start to just first degree, second degree, PhD. We are going to graduate almost 35 students of PhD in the next two weeks. So the fastest growing private university in Sub-Saharan Africa is Mariam Abacha American University according to European Survey. And according to European Education Survey, the fastest growing private university in Sub-Saharan Africa is Mario Mabacha American University. <laughs> because we are not stopping at Kano. We are supporting Kano British International University with the nomination FBI University in Kaduna. From Kaduna, we are heading also to Abuja, the federal capital of Nigeria. We are going to go to Canadian University of Nigeria. From Abuja, we are not stopping. We have to tell the West, all the Europeans, the Americans, others, that we can do it. We can do it and we'll do it and we'll make it. We are going to open the first African university in Bali called Baron University. Yeah. We tell the Europeans that we can do it. We are trained by them and we can do it. Not everything, European, Indians, whatever, etc. Africans, you can do better. <laughs> yeah. You are talented, you are talented, you are features. You are talented, you can do it, you can do it. That is why I'm playing in the future. Maybe one of you will invite me to come and open his own university, inshallah. That is our mission. We want to build the future of tomorrow. That is our vision. Not just give you certificates. No, 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 no. We want to build the future of tomorrow. We want to build the solution of tomorrow. We want to build the solution of tomorrow. Let me tell you what happened recently. I paid the court to the Nigerian's uh, president. And uh, he was uh, asking me, President, everywhere I go in the world, they used to ask me, who is the owner of Mariam Abacha and the Who is the owner of Mariam Abacha and the I said, he's a young man. He, he, he said, every time he said, he's a young man, people used to ask him, how can a young man have that initiative? Because most of our young men or young ladies, whatever, etc., According to President Bazoum, said, if they have money, they are thinking is not for innovation. They are thinking is to build a big house, have big cars, and make games in streets of three to five years or ten years, and they will go that way. They belong to a year. So that is the danger. So the Nigerian president was telling me he has been arguing with a lot of people that Mr. Bazoum got his first license when he was age of 28. I remember when I uh, opened the university in, uh, in Maradi, the first time I paid a visit to Niger, it was from Paris to Niani. At that time, it was uh, His Excellency President Mamadou Isuku that was the president of uh, Niger. We knew each other because I was part of the French uh, media that uh, covered his election at that time. So I paid him a second visit 
and uh, he was asking me uh, what he wanted to do to you. I say what I want you to do to me is to give me the lessons of the university. The lessons of the university. And I'm, you know what you are saying? The lessons of the university. I see that's only what I did. Just to use the authority that confirm for you and just give me the lessons of first English university in Niger. The president of uh, Niger at that time, President Yusufu, invited a lot of a friend of mine also, because we were together at our PhD level in Paris, Asman Muhammad. He was the Minister of Education. I met Asman, and Asman was telling me, President, he said you are going to send an American university in the shell. Do you think it's going to be easy? But it required a lot of money. I told him I'm ready. So he went back to the president, and uh, he was telling the president that uh, this young man said it's ready. So the president asked him to give him the lessons. Maybe with this lesson, this young man will change the future of the youth of Africa. So I was giving the lessons. When I was giving the lessons, let me tell you the reality that was happening in Nigeria. Before the establishment of marriage, degree in nursing, all over Kano, we only have three graduates. All over Kano. In Jigawa, at that time, we were having zero. In Zambal, we were having zero. In the Kenya, we were having zero. But with a level of marriage, we graduated over 1,000 nurses. Let me tell you, I'm proud. I'm proud of nurses also. I'm proud of the emperor for the establishment of the higher education. Why? I went to visit a university in the southern part of Nigeria, Isuka. So I met the vice chancellor of that end, and uh, he was telling me that I should escort him to the teaching hospital of his university that they have new equipment of therapy that he wants to show me. I said, okay, let me go and see. Okay. Immediately, I'm reaching to the ward. I start saying students, nurses, what is that, what is that, what is that, what is that? I said, I don't know if we are a student at Marani, we are a student at Marani, we are a student at Marani. You see, it is very important. Just recently also, I went for a screening in the United Nations. There is a documentation that I am doing for this university. And uh, when I arrived at the screening gate, I met one young boy, he's from Mali. We visited. He was telling me, this is not Professor Rodrigo. I said, yeah, I'm the one. He said, I'm the student in Niger. I did my first degree in Niger with you. I, I said, oh. He was asking me, what are you here for? I said, I'm here for a screen. I'm here for a international uh, education academic in past students. Yeah, I'm here of the screen. I'm, I'm, you're always going to screen, nobody. Just go. Ah. If I was having battery, if I was having battery after the production, if the customer give me their money, so I don't have the future value. I don't have the future value. But this makes you to have the future value because you are building the future of others. So this is very important. That's why I'm calling the rich or the elites of the northern part of Nigeria. They should try their best and set, and set a quality assurance university. Not just be buying houses, buying cars, traveling all over the world. You know, not, this is not going to give you a good name in the future. This is not going to give you a good name in the future. Yeah, this is not going to give you a name in the future. So it's very important. Yeah, you see, this is very important. So our elites or our rich, uh, whatever you call them, they should be able to invest in a private education. Because if you if you check the analysis or the data, whatever you call it, we are in backwards. That's why you see all this kind of religion killing each other, because we are not educated. We are not educated. If you are not educated, you can be easily used. You see, but when you are educated, you have your degree in nursing. 
You are expecting to have a, a job in America. Nobody will come and tell you go and kill Christian or go and kill Don Hausa or go and kill whoever. You know, you know it. You ask him, go and send your children to do it, not me. Because you have a value and you have a vision. You have a vision, you have a future to protect. So what, when you are not educated, everything is possible. All this insecurity that is happening is substantial education that we are living. You see, or no patronage of education. So you, we need to educate our future youth. This is what is going to give us a great future. This is what is going to give us a better future. This is what is going to build Africa. This is what is going to build Nigeria. Most of the time, this is what is going to build Kabul. You see, you see, civilization of education is very important. Civilization of education, civilization of education is very important. So um, let me also um, talk about my slogan. Because I have seen that 99 uh, percent of the students are female students, so congratulations. And uh, I'm a promoter of girls' education, and uh, I'm also a promoter of feminist education. So I think I'm going to congratulate you because the way I'm seeing the number, it has shown that you have all those students. So I'm going to take it back again so that you have it or take notes. Any lecturer, any lecturer, even I myself, I myself, I myself, if I try any of you, please don't hesitate, expose me. Expose me. If you expose me, that means you are giving assurance to future of girl child education in Africa. But if you didn't expose me, you are killing the future of your younger one or your sisters or your daughters, etc. But if you expose me personally, if Mr. Bozo comes to one of you saying, Oh, I your fine or whatever, I want to go out with you, please expose him. He must be exposed so that you are you are telling other proprietors of the university that um, uh, education environment is not a is not a sexual environment. Yeah. Any lecturer that tried you, just reporting to us, Honda at maroon.edu.ng, and we are going to give you one million, like I said. <laughs> Expose him. Yeah. Expose him. We are ready to deal with him. We are ready to deal with him. We bought our weapons. Yeah. Yeah, they are in store. Yeah. We are waiting for the lecturer that will try us. We are going to fire him. And we are going to put his nail in the UNESCO that this is not somebody that this is not somebody that should be a member of scientific research or any university in the world. Because you are not here for that. You are not here for that. Yeah, your parents they didn't send you here for that. And if you hide to us, if you hide to us, the male students, since the female students are, are your friends. The male student, the female brain, the female students are your friends. The male student, if you expose the lecturer and the student, we are going to give you two million. Yeah. You should expose the lecturer and the student. For that, as you are good, but they do the engine. Just write to me, I promise to hide your name, I promise to hide your face. And we are going to investigate and we will take action. The next student, if you expose any lecturer, not only lecturer, even our administrator, even our administrator from the gate till the register of the university. <laughs> yeah, even with the vice president also. With the vice president, I'm not talking. Yeah, I set an example myself. I said, if I try that, expose me, expose me. I want to be exposed. Very important. If I try that, expose me. Because if you are exposing me, you are protecting the future assurance of higher institution. Because this is what is disturbing Africa. Morality. Morality is disturbing us. Morality is disturbing us because 
is it that allowed that to happen with you? Don't be intimidated by any lecturer that will come and tell you, no, I will make sure you finish this first class. But, 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 but he's lying. He's lying to you. So, next to them, you see, you have them too. Just try your best and make sure you expose your friends, even students that are going out with a lecturer without the approval of the university. So the university will never approve anything. As far as we are concerned, if ever a lecturer will just come and tell us, I want to marry her, we don't know that. This is not a marital university. So we don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. So we don't know that. So we don't forget to use that advantage and come and tell us that, ah, yes, sir, I went and see a parent. If you went and see a parent, let the parent be removed out from our university. We are not going to continue uh, hosting her in our university. We we'll ask the parent, please come and take your father to any of the university so that we can protect our slogan of moral university of Sub-Saharan Africa. Because if you want to, if you, and, you know, so people may be they think uh, that I'm, uh, I'm too rigid. No, it's not that I'm rigid. If you want to marry her, allow her to graduate from our university. When she graduates, she has a certificate. She's a former student of this university. We don't have any right on her. We don't have any right on you. This is your private life. You can go ahead. But as far she's a, she, she's carrying our matric number of four or five years, we will not allow it to happen. I'm telling you this. And any parent who want to give his daughter to any lecturer, he should write to us. We are going to transfer his daughter to another university for him. We will not allow her to graduate because we will not allow any lecturer to use that immorality way to cheat on any student. Thank you very much.
the video in your bus folder. Okay, then the national anthem, please. Okay, you can rest it, please. You can all sit. 